it's a short video on how to reference a turret on a Daewoo with live tooling. Uh, this is a Daewoo Puma 2500 LS Live. There's a mode button right here. You hit the mode button. It's going to say RD off. You hit the down button. And it's going to say OR or 0R 9.5. What you do is you hit this set button and hold it for five seconds and then that's going to flash and then you cycle the power. I usually put the turret on tool number one and uh, that's where I start out. So that's pretty much it. And if, you, if you're on the wrong turret, say the station you can't get out of an e-stop con uh, condition and the turret says you're on tool number one and it says on this it doesn't match it says it's on turret one and you're on eight or you're on eight and it says on the display on the main control it says it's on turret one what you do is you hit the down button and you'll see that 45, that is the parameters. So you go to parameter number eight. Eight, and right now this is saying it's on station one. If it was on, if, if this said station eight, which if it was on station one and that control set it was on eight, this would be reading eight right here. The last digits, the last four digits is your parameter number or the, per, the value, the first two digits is a parameter number on these. So you would just, you would just go up or down, whatever, to match the number of station you're on. So we go down and go to one. So that's it. That's how to change the turret number and also how to reset the zero position to get the servo motor back on perfect. And I had to do this on this one, so. And then that's back to where we started. So that's it. It's when it doesn't have a phantom drive, it uses a Vision AC servo drive. Thanks for watching.